Hi artists, today we're gonna do some deep sea diving and learn about the giant squid. Uh, so the materials you'll need are a paper, an eraser, drawing pencil, and a pen. This is called a um, ballpoint pen, but any pen will do, black ink is great. So I'm doing mine in portrait, so tall instead of long, but if you want to do yours in landscape, that's fine as well. And I'm gonna start out with my um, pencil, just doing a drawing. So uh, this is going to be a really tall, skinny oval shape. This is called the mantle. And then we are going to um, hop up to the top here and do, it's called the stabilizing fins. So um, just go to the middle of your mantle, hop up a little bit, make a little planning dot, and then you are going to do a curve line, curving down to connect it to the left side, and a curve line down to connect it to the right. And then just below the tip of that fin, you're going to do two more curved lines to the left and the right. All right, so we're gonna hop down and add the eyes. So you're gonna do two circles on the bottom of our mantle. So try to make them about the same size. And again, I'm doing sketches, so just really loose. Um, kind of allow your hand to move energetically through paper. Uh, and then we are going to go on to the arms. So they have eight arms, just like an octopus. So just um, in the bottom kind of center of the eye, you're going to start your curve line. And watch as I do these really um, fluid, Lines. So you're going to do a curve, curving down. And then you're going to leave a little bit of space. And this line is going to run parallel, which means it's running right next to it. When you get to the bottom, you're going to connect it. So if you need to do a few practice runs just in the air above your paper, that's fine. And then when you're confident, you can go ahead and put your pencil down. It's okay if, you know, when you're sketching, lines don't perfectly meet up, that's fine. That's actually better because then you have um, a looser hand. All right, I'm gonna go on to the next arm. So this one's gonna be in the middle. You're gonna do a big swooping curve line towards the right side. And then leave it a little space and do another quick energetic line curving towards the right to connect it. So we got two arms. In between these arms, we're gonna do another. So this one, you're gonna leave some space. So right here where they meet, hop down. Leave a little bit of space and this one is gonna go up. And curve around. Back to where that arm started, hop over to the left. And now we're gonna cut through these two lines to curve up and connect it. Now, so you don't get confused, we are gonna erase this short line here and here. So go ahead and grab your eraser. And that way we have a little bit of depth. So this first arm is behind the second. And then while we have our eraser, you can also erase this line right here. All right, so three arms. Uh, the next line we're gonna do, so I want you to go to where these two meet at a point and hop over to the right. And then you're going to do a big curve line, curving up and around. And then I want you to go underneath the middle of the eye here, and you're going to do a curved line so it's 
going back down towards the previous line, curves around, and finally comes to a point. So one, two, three, four. So we got four in the front, and we're gonna do four smaller ones in the back because these ones are closer to us. It's like if my hand, you know, think of these as four arms, and then I have my other four closer to the screen. So that's what we're doing here. So we've created the top ones, and now we're gonna do the bottom ones, the smaller ones. So we are going to go back to the left side here, um, hop down from the eye, and you're going to do a curved line curving towards the left. Now, once you touch a line, you wanna hop over it and continue. So I'll do that again. Do your curved line, hop over it because it's behind this arm and continue down towards the left. Now, go back to where we started. Leave a little bit of space, because like I said, this is a smaller arm. Curve around, hop over, and connect. So now we've got five arms. Let's go over to the right side. So you can start where our um, last arm is hop over to the right and then you can do a curve line curving up go back to where the arm attaches hop down curve line curving up now we need two more arms So I'm going to do these peeking out in the bottom here. So right between where this point is, you're going to do a curve. And you can make this as curved as you like. If you like it super spiral, then you can curve it in on itself. Go back to where it meets, hop over to the right, curve line curving around. And then on to the right side where this point is, this little angle, we're going to do the next one. So you can follow the curves that I'm doing, or if you want to add your own, that's fine. Just make sure you have eight arms. Four of them are going to be bigger in size, and four of them are smaller. So we have one, two, three, four in the front, one, two, three, four in the back. All right, nice job so far. So um, the next thing we want to do, so they, they also have a beak. We don't see it in this picture because the beak, if, if you imagine, um, let's see if I can do this for you. You imagine if, pretend this is the mantle, these are the arms, okay? So it's facing us forward. Now the beak, would be if you open it up it would be right in here so we're not going to see that but we are going to add the two um, feeding tentacles and they use these two long feeding tentacles to seize their prey so um, these I'm actually going to have them going up towards the top of the paper so I want you to go back to let's see let's start them right above the smaller tentacles. So right here, you're gonna do a really long curve line, curving up, almost touching the top of the paper, okay? Now, once you get to the end of that line, we are going to curve back, okay. and this is called the uh, tentacular club. So. Um, they use these to kind of grab their prey. So there's one, and then we're gonna go onto the other side, another one. So where that um, feeding tentacle starts, hop over to the right, curve up towards the top right side of your paper, 
and then at the end of that line you're going to curve back towards it and connect it. So that's really it for the drawing. Um, really fluid lines um, to show a lot of movement and also uh, we have a, a bit of um, proportion here and so now we're going to get into our principle of design which is space. So um, since this is heavy on the um, mark making techniques, I'm going to show you guys different ways that you can use your pen to create um, different marks. Uh, we're not going to do anything in the background. If you want to add anything later, you're welcome to. But for now, um, you can just put your pencil to the side. And you can grab your pen. So. Um, Actually, it's pretty cool. Let me see if I can show you guys. This is the ink inside your pen, right? And um, just like squids have ink inside them. So uh, what we're using is this black ink here and the tip out is it's going to come out of the, the point. So mine is a ball point. So it's um, that's what the metal part is called. Okay, don't take yours apart, but I just wanted to show you guys so you know, you know, essentially they all look like this on the inside. This is the case that it comes in just so that it's easier to hold it and you don't get ink on your hands. All right. Okay, so um, now we're gonna go into outlining the details that we have. So I'm gonna start out with the um, top of my squid. So you're just gonna go ahead and outline right on top from the tip, coming down. Pretty much all the lines that we've drawn, we will outline, okay? So we erase the few, this, this line right here where it overlaps in this one, but everything else is going to be um, outlined. So I'm gonna turn up the music. I'm gonna give you guys some time to outline your piece, and then we will get into um, how to do some different ink techniques.
Okay, so um, if you guys are not finished outlining it yet, that's fine. I just want you to take a break so you can look up here. Uh, so, you know, even with me, I have tons of practice many years and I still went outside of the lines a little bit and that's fine and that's why we did the sketch. So um, what you can do is you can erase, use your eraser and get rid of the um, sketch lines that you have. Now your ink should dry pretty quick, but if you have a really um, kind of watery pen, you might want to wait a couple minutes just so that the ink doesn't smear when you try to erase it. And this is just to clean up the edges. This is also a technique that a lot of illustrators use when they're doing character design. So they'll start out with a sketch and then they'll go on top with their pen or their, you know, darker color and then they'll get rid of their sketch lines. So you have a cleaner um, drawing now. Okay. So before we do any type of mark making, there's just a couple things that you'll want to do, you know, areas where maybe your ink didn't fully set, you know, you're going to just want to make that more defined. And then we want to add a little detail right between the eyes. So just um, above the left eye, you're going to do a curve line and then it goes back towards the top of the eye. Same thing on the other side. And that kind of connects the eyes to the body. You can do a small circle inside each of the eyes. Okay. And now I'm going to teach you some different ways that you can add texture to um, add more marks onto your squid. So, you know, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but there's so many different styles and techniques that you can use. So, um, you know, depending on the style, depending on the material you wanna use, you can achieve different um, looks and different materials have different um, techniques that you can use towards them. So this one we're learning about pen and ink techniques. So. Uh, the first thing is you can do, um, it's called hatching. So I know some of you have learned this with me at the dojo, but uh, you know, you can do, they can either be horizontal straight lines and you don't have to copy me exactly. I'm just showing you, introducing you to different ways that you can do this. They can be um, vertical. They can be curved. Uh, and then there is cross hatching. So that's when you cover two layers on top of each other. So if I were to have this side horizontal lines to do cross hatching, I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to do vertical lines on top. And that's going to create kind of grid uh, texture. For you know the the tentacles, you're gonna want to do um, small circles, so various sizes. But you can add these circles into the um, the clubs. There's also dots. So if you wanted to just do small dots, this is also known as pointillism. So maybe I wanted some just small dots on the smaller arms here. 
So you're going to point your pen up towards the, the ceiling and just sprinkle a bunch of dots. This is